welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett and today is day seven of 3D Printmas. Now if you're not sure what 3D Printmas is, check the little eye up in the corner. I'm creating a new model every day in December and posting a video about it. So this is day seven, one week down, and I have something pretty interesting for you. This one actually came about rather suddenly. So as some of you may know, my wife works for a bakery here. They make a lot of really impressive cakes. If you'd like to see some of the cakes they make, I'll put a link to their Facebook page down below. I mean, they really do make some amazing cakes. Now someone came in recently and asked my wife to make a Walking Dead cake and have a sword going through it. And my wife had a thought that maybe instead of making it out of fondant, we could, make it, we could 3D print one and put it in the cake and that way they could have a physical object to take home with them afterwards. Now this was obviously a very rushed project and I wasn't even going to do a video on this but I decided to in the end just because I took the time to make it already and it actually did turn out pretty cool. But I decided just to label this video as a katana and rather than something specific to Walking Dead because um, it does just look like a normal sword. And this is it right here. And you can see that it is not a full length katana like it is in the show. And this was made to fit inside the cake. Obviously you can't have a full size sword sticking out of a cake. Well you could, but uh, that'd be a little ridiculous. So as I stated, this was rushed and it is being paid for to be put in a cake. So the quality does reflect that a little bit. And what I mean by that is I didn't go in and put in all of the details I could have just because if I would have done that, the time that I would have spent on this thing and the time I would have taken my wife to paint it and everything, we would have had to charge them a lot more than they would be willing to pay to put this thing in a cake. So I found an image of the sword that they were wanting. I brought it in and I basically just traced it. Now I did trace it as a full size sword. And actually if you look at the model down in the description, you will see that it is a normal proportioned sword and I have it broken up into three parts and I actually included the full file as well. But it is only this long, so basically what I did is I brought the pieces into Simplify 3D and I scaled them out on the X and the Y axis while leaving the Z axis the same. So it's basically like I took a full real katana and just halved the height and squished it down. So the handle is a normal size, the blade is a normal size, width wise it's just not as long as a normal sword would be. And of course I didn't go in and try and add all the detail on the handle and some of the emblems down on the bottom here. My wife painted it all up, she attached the pieces, uh, tried to fill in the seam and sand those out. You can't even see them, it uh, turned out really good. And since we did have to rush on this, she didn't take the time to sand this. Now moving down to the handle, this one was kind of interesting. If you look on the sword they use on the show, this is wrapped in fabric. Now obviously we didn't have the time to do that. And I could have taken this into a sculpting program and kind of done a little bit of that to give it a little more authentic feel. But once again, time constraints. I just went through and added diamonds all the way along here and that gave it the look we were going for. Then my wife actually went in with a paper towel and a little bit of black paint and she just smudged along these lines here giving it sort of that look. There's a lot of techniques at play here that really kind of help to serve the overall aesthetic of the sword. And actually it is shockingly simple to create a sword like this in Fusion 360 so if you guys would like to see a tutorial on that I can definitely put one of those together and show you guys how to make a sword of your own. Just let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see something like that. Now, um, I'm actually sending this thing off tomorrow morning, actually, and my wife will be stabbing it right through a cake. And I think the cake is actually going to be done before this video goes up, so if that's the case, I will put an image of the cake right on screen here so you can see what the final product was. Okay guys, well I hope you thought this was cool, and like I said, links are in the description to the files. And just a reminder, I did scale it 200% on the X axis and 200% on the Y axis, and I did not touch the Z axis to get it to look like this. If I had not done that, this would be the size of the blade. As you can see, those are pretty different. And this is actually the size of the file that I've included. So if you want to print a full, real size sword, and scale the entire thing up 200%. Okay guys, well thank you for joining me. Full week down of 3D Printmas. Let me know what you guys think of this whole thing down in the comments. Let me know how I'm doing so far, and let me know what your favorite model was so far. Okay guys, well thanks for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.